G'day guys, long time no see. Um, obviously been real busy again, but if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I've been sanding boats in return for a little work car. Uh, this is it. So basically tonight, I, um, I went, hooked up the, the car trailer and brought this to my house and was doing some work on it out the front. I'll show you some footage on that, but I didn't do too much because all the neighbors are out doing their, their lawns and stuff like that. And um, I still get shy around people talking to a camera like a psychopath. So I like to just do it out the back, but this car, <laughs> it stinks so bad. Like it's the worst car I've ever smelt. There was chucky milk containers and stuff in there. Um, a bit of spilt milk and all that. And this car has just been sat stagnant for about 12 months now. But as you can see, I've already started ripping some seats out. Um, these are really easy in the x -Trail. So this is a 2006 T30. So to get this seat out, all you've got to do is pull a little pin here, which you can see. So that's what holds it into place. And there's a sliding rod on that side. And you just slide the seat that way and the, the base comes out. And all I'm going to be doing now is vacuuming all this out, pulling these seats, the driver's seats, and ripping the carpet out of here. And I've just gone and bought a, um, a carpet shampooer to try and get rid of this smell because, oh man. <laughs> Kerry refuses to even, she won't even pop her head in the car. So um, I'm stuck with all the hard nitty gritty work. I've always had a huge soft spot for these cars. They're a real good basic touring car. That's why so many backpackers use them. Over here in Australia, they put a little rooftop tent on top and just cruise around Australia. They're super reliable. Um, they make like 170 horsepower, so still pretty pokey. Uh, this is a five speed manual, but yeah, it's got all the cruise control and all that crap. I've got a bit of play in this front left front left wheel here, so I dare say that the, the wheel bearings can put. When I'm braking, you can feel the pulsation of a warped rotor or a wheel bearing but um, I got play in the front left wheel, so I'd say it's more wheel bearing. An easy way to tell with that scenario is um, you'll get a spongy brake pedal as well. Where's Kerry gone? <laughs> what are you being a CD? <laughs> <It's> hiding. <laughs> say hello. Hello. All right guys, so I'm gonna be pulling the back seats to begin with. I've already obviously explained the base cushions, but to get the front cushions out, you've got two bolts in here behind this panel. I'm gonna pull these out, and then in here, you're gonna pop this out. Once you've popped that out, you've got these mounting bolts here. That's so you can pull this rear panel off. And then once that rear panel is off, you can get to the bolts in the middle there. Now. 
one more bolt. All right, so for me to get to this last bolt, I've got to remove this now as well by the looks. Yep, so I've got to pull this panel to get to that other nut. Otherwise I can't get to it at all, so it's really getting to me because this car genuinely making me feel sick. <laughs> You've seen the location of all the bolts are all cracked off. I'm just going to wind them all out now by hand, but um, yeah, you don't need to see 10 more minutes of that. <laughs> all right. So, all them bolts are out now. Um, 15 in total. Typical Nissan building everything tough, even their, even their soft rotors. And you've got two plastic clips um, as well. So, you just push, you can just push them in like that pop them. There we go. I can pull that enough to get to this nut anyway, so. I wish you guys could smell this. Right, so obviously after you pull those four bolts, there's just this harness underneath. Um, for mine, the only plug that was plugged in was the seatbelt one. Unsure what this is for, I'm assuming possibly in the flash models, maybe it had electric seats or something, or heated seats, but um, yeah, for me, just this little guy. Just gonna rip out the other seat, um, and then I'll probably have to call it for tonight because if I make a little noise, I set off the neighbor's dog, which never shuts up, so I don't want to be that neighbor triggering that little dog. Morning. Time to start getting all this shit. Mm. There's a lot of poops everywhere. I'm going to pull the center console. Plastic thingy. I actually really want to vacuum this up, but I don't want to vacuum it up with my vacuum, so. Mm. 
first world problems. I'm hoping I can just pull the carpet out rather than lifting up all these trims and stuff. I reckon I should be able to. mine you have one plug for the four-wheel drive switch which the tab is on the steering wheel side and then on this side both tabs are on the top and you just push them all down <laughs> I tried to run to you as fast as I could <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how bad's the smell? Well, let's just put it this way, I can't swallow my own spit, I have to spit it out. It's, it's she also disgusting. can't swallow tablets, so... <laughs> That's the... I don't know what to do with anything. It's Not pretty a... bad. <laughs> it's burnt my eyeballs. It's going to come up really good though, like... The stuff, it's not in bad condition, it's just filthy. After it's cleaned, it should come up pretty nicely. Yeah, go on. So apart from a couple of little things, this carpet's almost ready to be pulled. Um, it, goes, it does run underneath this, well it barely runs underneath there, I'm just going to cut that. So yeah, I've just got this rubber corner here to lift up and I might have to lift these panels out of the way to get the carpet. But almost there. Basically, if you wanted to keep this carpet in one piece, you would remove this plate here, um, all your joint linkages and stuff, so that you can actually slide the carpet out. They pretty much put the carpet in first and then put all this stuff over the top. So all I've done is I've just cut the in-between scenarios. Now that does run a risk of this carpet potentially going loose around the footwell area, but I really don't care. I'm not crawling around in here any longer. Um, and you're not going to see it once all the trims and panels are on. So for me, if it becomes annoying, I'll just pull it back and I'll put a little dollop of glue there and I'll push it to the glue. So um, you do have to lift your trims up because the carpet actually hooks into those clips there and cover which will pop out. There we go.
probably a good time to mention that if you um if you were doing this in the car and you needed your car back quickly i would not be soaking it with a hose just get a carpet shampoo um for me this is going to be out of the car for a couple of weeks so it's definitely going to dry but it will trap a lot in this foam and stuff so you need to really give it time for it to dry out properly carpet's over there drying time to start getting these chairs sorted same thing i'm gonna drag them over there i'm not gonna hose them but i am gonna use that big rain scrubby brush thing again obviously if i hose them these things will never be dry so kerry's been uh sidetracked from a uni <laughs> gotta get this nice and sparkly can't help myself <laughs> this looks fun I'm not This is pretty, pretty standard. But how rank is that? It's like a chunky milkshake. So that's one chair done. Um, I had to go over it four times in the end to get the water to come out clear. You don't need to see me do four other chairs, but basically I'm just going to tackle four chairs now. Or the other three. Get them up to the same standard as this one. Um, Morning guys. All the uh, furniture is now washed and dried. So I'm now going to start attacking the inside of this car, um, give it a vacuum mate, and then do a little bit of scrubbing really. Smells gone in here now, it smells really nice and fresh. I'm just gonna go around now with some proper spray and wipe cleaner, do all of the door handles and plastic trims, and then I'll go around with armor oil and polish everything up. Feeling super fresh in here now. So this is at a point now where I'm definitely happy with the cleanliness of it. Might give it one last little quick vacuum just to get rid of any last little remaining things but all the doors have come up mint. This was all stained white before. I can't get these any cleaner which is a little bit annoying but front carpet, centre console, then front seats.
All right, guys, here's the end result. I haven't put these plastics on yet. I don't know if I'm going to because I actually like it being empty so I can store stuff underneath there. All the backs come up mint. All the doors. The only thing that I couldn't get stains out is just I don't know what it is, but on this hard plastic, can't for the life of me get these get these out. So um, they're a permanent fixture, but it doesn't smell anymore. Looks like it's better inside. But, um, stay tuned because basically uh, all you T30 XL guys and girls um, going to be putting a lift kit in it some bigger tyres, uh, full service, so diffs, um, diffs, gearbox, engine, the fuel filter in the tank, um, a new Serpy belt, and I'll be doing some sort of real cheap budget dual battery system in this. I am contemplating just using my battery pack um, because it can be charged by a cigarette lighter and these x trails seem to have a um, charging point in the back already anyway, so Pretty stoked with this little guy. And I think me and Kerry are gonna have lots of fun in him. Especially when I just wanna go around for a weekend and I don't need my flash camping set up in the Land Rover um, cause pretty much that car is literally just set up now for um, camping and it's no good as anything else. So this is gonna be the perfect little work rig. Perfect vehicle for me to slap heaps of shit in the back, slap the dogs in the back. And if we just wanna go away for a night or something, probably just gonna end up taking this because it's gonna be a perfect setup for that so exciting just got to get it registered now but um yeah also guys don't worry all the Isuzu stuff still coming the caravan stuff and the Land Rover stuff as well um, obviously recording the videos is the easy part editing them is what takes me time it takes me about five to six hours for a basic video to edit and if I try and make it flash, which I'm not very good at doing, it takes me up to 10 hours. So I just don't have the time to actually sit in front of the computer anymore like I used to. Um, but I am going to start making time for it as of next break. So I'll see you then. Catch ya. You got me down.